Hey, how's it going? For today, we're doing some more upgrades. So I finally got all the stuff together for making us a grinder. Something I've been trying to get done for a long time. Try getting stuff for an industrial forge going, but we're kind of missing a few things. Now I'm hoping once we get the grinder set up, we'll be able to throw some of our saddles and things like that that I've been getting from the supply drops into there, get some more of the resources, and be able to make both today. All right. What was that? That was super loud, dude. <laughs> Anyways, the thing I'm not too uh, crazy about is the grinder is going to be super large, right? From like the ASC version, if it's the same, it's going to be like three or four foundations wide. I was thinking about maybe putting it right here, but that would block our nice scenic view, and I don't want to do that. So we might end up putting it either right here or possibly where I'm really thinking about it's back here. It'll be out of the way, just on the back side of the greenhouse. Plenty of room to come in with the Argentavis and land. Throw stuff in there, get it grinded up, load it back into the Argentavis, and then bring it over here to shuttle inside to our stuff. So that's kind of what I'm kind of going for. We'll have to see how that works out. Now, the second thing I really want to get done today is I want to go over here and set up our breeding area. Well, not breeding, well, kind of the breeding, but mainly the hatching area. What we're going to do is wall this off. We're going to change out some of these walls for air conditioners. Now, I think air conditioners only go two foundations wide. I think if it's the same thing as the old vanilla ones, so what we might do is kind of cap this off right here. We'll put ACs there, there, and there. I want to be able to put an egg kind of in the middle here and have it get hatched. And then we'll line this wall and then part of the wall over here with air conditioners. We're going to kind of box this in where that's at. And then this whole thing will be solid. So it'll be a nice little room just for hatching our eggs. If it works out. Now I did do some more supply runs after the last video for some silica pearls. Got a few more, not too many. I went to the snow area and grab some from up there. There are some in the water. They're just super shallow, kind of like over here. That's one thing I wanted to go over there and check. Now, if you notice, there are no seagulls. I did a dino wipe. Finally got the two wrecks kind of kited upriver and did a dino wipe. And the I, &I edit did work for the seagulls. So if you're curious on what code I used for the I, &I it goes into your game I, &I not the game user settings. I'll put it in the description box down below. I know a lot of people are asking for it, but it's so nice, man. It replaces these seagulls with dodos. I think there's some over here. There was some. It's an Orvoraptor now. There was some dodos over there, but I think that's where the uh, the seagull should have spawned. So, not too bad, man. It's kind of nice. Let's see where we're at in life. Oh, yeah, one more thing. My prized possession from all my supply drop runs I did, we got an Ascendant Torch. Now, I know it's not that big of a thing, but durability is 144 versus the standard 40. So, it'll definitely help out for doing our cave runs and things like that. And then with the wild temperatures that are kind of on this map, man. It's going to be nice having that and not have to repair it all the time. So, what are we missing from here? Cement paste. That's the only thing. I have some of that making up. It should be ready by now, I hope. Let's make some more of that. I had to stop that to get our cement paste going. There we go. 933 on that. What are we missing? Some stone and some more kite. We have more in here. This is some that I looted from supply drop runs. We got some polymer as well. So got plenty of stone. Let's go ahead and stack this. Plenty of stone and everything else. Throw this in there. Too well, let's put our torch over here for the moment. Was super excited to get that. I got that right before I started recording. So we got a bunch of stuff in here I'm not going to use. A lot of this ascendant, ascendant things, like the Pelagornis saddle and then Apache Rhino. Should give us some polymer, I think. The riot shield as well. I think that's all that's going to give us polymer. So the penguins are not respawning up there. Since I did the dino wipe and stuff, that's one thing I wanted to check. I still have zero penguins on the map. Not sure why. I know exactly where to look for them. We had them when we first started. Is that a Trudon? When we first started the series, there were some up there. But now there's not. So I don't know what's going on with that. It has nothing to do with my I, &I edit. It was, you know, I checked up there beforehand. And it still wasn't any spawning in. Let's go ahead and do... This first. But it sucks, man. I can't use any organic polymer. If there's no penguins. So all we're missing to make the forge is, of course, some polymer. Some oil. I might have some more oil in the smithy. And the metal ingots. We've got about half of the metal ingots. Now, don't forget, we still got to make some of the air conditioners. I can only make 12. We're missing... What are we missing? Electronics? Metal ingots. Let's make six of these. I'm not too sure how many spots we're going to have in 
The windows. And do we have any foundations? I got so much stuff for building, like all these, from the supply drops, man. I'm gonna go ahead and grind them up. A lot of these we'll use for our build today. We got four. Oh, it's four or three foundations wide. There's our grinder. Let's turn it off for the moment. Let's see how big this thing is first. It is massive, dude. It is massive, man! One, two, three. So it's three wide. We could put it right there. That's going to kind of crowd up our grill, which I do need to change back to where it was. I like that whenever it's in the center right here. Turn off snapping. Put you right back there. Nice, man. Nice. Get it going. A little bit of flames to keep us warm. So yeah, it's not going to work out right here. I really miss the super size or super small size ones from S+. If we put it right here... It's going to stick out too far and be dangerously close to our tree. I like our tree. I do not want to accidentally knock it over. I guess back here will work. Set out all three of these. Can we do it on one wide? Or do we need it to be two wide? Needs to be two wide. It is barely... Could they not have made that to fit on one foundation? I'm just saying, dude. One foundation wide would have been perfect. Let's make up two more of those, and we'll grab some railings. Plenty of those. We only need one, two, three, four. I think four of those. So that's good there. Let's make up a couple foundations. Or overweight. Super heavy, dude. And then we need some thatch. Was it two of those? One more, there we go. Nice, man, nice. That's not too bad, dude. It's kind of tucked out of the way. It's gonna suck getting our stuff from... ...here into the bird and then back over to our storage, but is what it is. Drop you there. And you there. Grass should go away. Easy. There we go. And we might put some stairs here too. Do we need them? We could try it. Kind of make it look a little bit better. But how loud is it? Not as loud as it used to be. Is there always smoke on it? Might be new. Not as loud as it used to be. It's still kind of loud, though. Don't want to leave it running all the time, and it does run off the electricity, so that's kind of nice. 120 slots, too. Oh, you can make your, uh, your flint in here. That's gonna be fantastic. I totally forgot about that. Use that for making up our flint for doing gunpowder and stuff. Because even using the Anki takes forever to get enough flints. We can always use a Dodic, which gets a ton of stone, and then roll him over here and grind it up. Let's grab a couple things. We've got a Dunkel Saddle. Not sure if I actually want to use that. We'll go ahead and keep it. They're good for getting stone and oil down below. Now, I've been throwing a lot of my chitin stuff out. Not thinking about keeping it for the grinder. We're not doing anything with these spiders. We've got a couple of the Mantis blueprints. Or not blueprints, but saddles. Kind of want to tame one of those. I haven't tamed one since, I think it was like Crystal Isles. Long time ago. And I lost it the same day that I tamed it. I actually got it beached, and it died. Not doing that. Not doing the Pelagornis. That's a Pterodon. And the Allosaur. Let's go ahead and just grind those. Just want to see what we get. Been a long time since I used a grinder. I'm hoping we get... Oh yeah, I want to get the Riot Shield too. See if we get some Polymer from that. We should. It costs quite a bit of Polymer to make it. Don't really need those. We'll go ahead and keep them though. All right. Grind you. Oh, we got some organic. Not much on the chitin. Oh, we got some silica pearls. That must have come from the riot shield, too. Hmm. Interesting. Can definitely use the metal, too. All right. Turn you off. I'll play with that later. Let's see where we're at in life with things in here. Drop all that off. We've got plenty of time before some of that starts to spoil. Let's grab these. Let's make two more. 
That'll be six. We got enough for 12 altogether. I want to see... I don't want to overmake them, though, right? Kind of a waste on resources. Mainly for the... the pearls. Turn you off. Let's grab some walls. Plenty of those from the drops. 19 should be fine. We'll come back for the rest. We're going to need some of the slopes, though, too. Let's go ahead and make those while we're here. Almost out of wood, dude. Alright, two of those are making. Alright. Kind of excited about this area. Now, if we end up doing the industrial forge for some reason, I have no idea where to put it. Like I said, we are doing a base expansion, and I'm thinking... Keeping that tree in that tree and centering our base whenever we redo it this way, right in between those. It'll look kind of neat, man. Some natural trees. I'll be super sad if I get the whole base done and for some reason one of the wrecks or whatever comes by and knocks them down. It'll, uh, <laughs> it'll suck, man. So it's going to happen, though. So, we are for sure walling this off. What are we doing for doors? I want to be able to get the dinos in and out. We could do the double doorways. Can't really do a big dino gate. It'd be too tall because they're like three walls high. We could just leave that open, right? Leave this area open and maybe cap it off with some pillars. Damn, yeah, might look nice. Let's go ahead and set this up, though. Let's do... One there. One there. Use it for staging. I think pillars right there would be good. It'll always be open, but it doesn't really matter, right? Because got the doors there to kind of keep it closed. Let's do... One there. One there. I like it. Now, since we're only able to go to foundations with the air conditioners, if we set it up to where we can drop the egg right there in the middle, we'll need to cap this off. We'll put a window. I don't think what'll fit in there. We'll try. And then we'll leave this open for our doorway, which we'll just go ahead and put a double door. And this is going to be a wall there. And that should work out. Let's see about this real quick. Did they not clip in... There we go. So one will go there. Oh, they won't go here. How are they obstructed? I have it set for clipping. I mean, that's how we got the the walls in there. You figure the AC should go in there as well. Hmm. Well, that's not going to work out too well. Let's change these back to regular walls in. Got a nice little uh, hidden area back here. <laughs> not sure what I would put in it, but it's kind of neat. Up here should be able to be... These as well, right? So let's think about this for a second. So, if we're only doing 2x2, two two, if we put this here... I wonder if ACs over there will work, too? We could set it up for right here. Let's just, let's just do all this area with ACs. If we can. So that's gonna be 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have enough for 12 only, so... We'll just do that. Pick these up, change them over. It is raining outside? Dude, it was sunny whenever we came in here, I'm just saying. The weather changes so quick. It's kind of a nice thing, though. I like the, uh, I like the raining on the island. It's nice, it's super clear. Alright, so we got these. So we're gonna need six more. That should be good. That would give us 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We could do one more there, and that would be 13. We could do 14 and 15, but I think that's a little bit too much. That'd be nice, man. Ah, it'd be so nice. Alright, six more of those. And then how many pillars do we need? One, two, three, four of those. We'll cap that off, and this is totally done. Really miss a nanny, though, dude. So I think what we're going to end up doing is I'll change my settings so that... They'll just take one imprint to imprint everything. I don't know, man. I'm not a fan of the imprint system. We have any in here already made? We have one. 
Gonna need some of you. Little bit of you. And some of you. Is it three more? But yeah, I'll do that, man. I'll just change it to where we do one imprint. Everything, I'm good to go. And then... It's kind of like the way the nanny does it anyways, right? Does all the imprint for you. So that's set. And then... Oh yeah, some more of these. Can only do five. What are we missing? Metal ingots? Super expensive on those, dude. Super expensive. And then just... One more after it makes these. I don't want to make too many, like I said. And we'll see how that goes once we actually get the other Carno for... Breeding. Might do some taming in the next video, get that done, and do our first set of egg hatching. Alright, so for the forge... Polymer, we could probably make the polymer up. We need what? 261? 161? If my math is correct, it might not be. It happens, it happens. We got the ACs, don't we? We do. But yeah, I'm hoping for our new base whenever we build it. It'll kind of go, like I said, right there. And probably all the way back to maybe right here. And then we'll have the doorway to still get into this. And then greenhouse will be over there. I think. Possibly. Not sure on the design, but... Might just kind of wing it like I usually do. And just start building and... <laughs> whatever we come up with, we come up with. Alright, so there's that. And there's all these. Alright, nice. I am so glad they added in the, uh, the window AC units. Makes it nice. Now, I think we can still put those guys in the floors if we need to. Kind of stack them down there. Let's, uh, do a little bit of testing. Real quick, real quick. Turn off clipping. Yep, we can. Right down there. So for some reason, these aren't enough. We can always put some down in the floors. I wish I would have made them a tiny bit smaller, so they didn't stick up. That's always an option. We'll definitely need that for Aberration whenever that map finally comes up, because for doing Rock Drakes, I think you need around 20 or 22 of the air conditioners to hatch them if you're in the blue zone, so it's definitely a thing. But that's not too bad, dude. That is our little hatching area. Still got room to get to our generator. Now we could kind of pick that up and move it over some, but it's not sticking out of the... the roof here. So we're kind of good. Dude, I got the, uh, the Diplo. Put him up here. <laughs> Watching that guy kind of try to, like, step up here. He's got the short stubby legs, dude. It's, uh, it's kind of funny, man. Takes him forever, but he's safe up here. Almost lost him to some sharks trying to grab some more of the... the pearls and stuff. You guys are out of meat again! Already fed him everything that I have. Let's grab some real quick. And then we'll see about getting stuff sorted out for this industrial forge. If we can get that made today, too, I would be so happy, dude. Super happy. Let's just give them... Uh, I hate doing... I hate doing raw meat because it spoils so fast. I got so much wood in here, too. Let's take that one out. Yep, super heavy. Didn't think of that through. And I threw that for some reason. Didn't think that through, either. All right, so that works there. So, you, Polymer is making. Let's check on oil, and then we'll make up some more cement paste. We do. We got plenty of oil in here. So that's sorted out. How much did I miscount on the Polymer? Looks like we'll be off by... Let's just make 70 more. And that'll work out for that. Let's get some of this going. We should have some chitin. We've got some here. We've got a ton of it over here for some reason too, right? We do. Just take all of it. You're almost done. Let's put a stack in you. And we'll do a stack in you. Leave that little bits. We'll grab as much of this as we can. 
Stone is super easy to come by. I think all that we need is a couple stacks in each, and that should make enough for that. Then we just have to worry about getting enough of the metal smelted up. What I might end up doing, I got one or two of the, the forges that I looted from the supply drops. Maybe we'll make a bunch more of those and just finish crafting up all this metal. So that's for you. That'll give us 250. And that'll give us 250 as well. We have a level up. Let's go ahead and do... I'm trying to get my health up to around 400. I think it's like 410 or 420 you need. So that if you fall from very high, as long as you don't have any more damage, you'll actually survive if you hit the ground. Now that was an ASE. I'm not sure if they changed it. There was a damage cap from falling. It might... <laughs> it might not be one now. So we're going to need a total of 600. We're still going to have some left over for the cement paste. So that's enough of that making up. Let's get the forges sorted out. And then we can get the forge sorted out. So here's you. You know what? Might get some more too from grinding all this up. The main thing I want to grind is the bolts. Where are they at? 179 of those. So here's one forge. Let's take half of you. Oh, it wasn't even half. And we'll grab some of this. Let's make up... I don't know, maybe three or four more? I'll just kind of scatter them all throughout this. They're all going to get kind of chopped up and grinded anyways whenever we're done. So I think we need this. We need this. I think we need fiber. Which is weird. Not sure why you need f uh, fiber for a forge. We just need some of this. And some of that. I think we have too much... Too much wooden stuff. That'd be three more. That should be fine. That's like four more forges. One there, and then a couple more over here. We got so many of those things scattered around. But, I mean, it's good for our charcoal production. <laughs> I'm just saying. We got so much in there for gunpowder, I really need to make... Really need to make some of the uh, ammo up. I'm getting quite a bit from the supply drops too, which is kind of nice. Let's do. I don't want to have to go too far. It's super heavy moving the metal. We'll do one there. Wait, oh, you can do it inside of each other? Oh, that's super weird. What if we turn off snapping? Free place mode. Can I turn you around though? I can't. Wait, maybe whenever we set it down, we can turn it? We can. That works out. One there. I want to be able to reach that one. One there. And then, is that all that we have? It is. Take some of yours. Fill up this guy. We'll do this to all of them, and then all I have to do now is wait. I'm going to grind up some more stuff, too, see how much metal I can get from our stuff. But all right, man, give me a few minutes. We should be good to go once the, uh, the metal gets done. That's done there. Yep, just metal ingot, and the cement paste is making. Fantastic. I was so worried about not being able to do the forge. I kind of plan on just doing the build today plus the grinder and calling it good, but definitely works out, man. Super happy. Dude, I got so much metal from those bolts. We're almost ready for the forge. So we're at... We're missing like 49 metal ingots. Won't take long at all for that, but dude, the silica pearls too? Holy crap, you get so many from the bolts. I didn't realize that they cost that. I got 344 more back. So that's weird. Maybe I got that from some of the saddles that I grinded. And you get a ton of metal back. Metal and cement paste we got a ton of. We've got, I think I got 700 total now. Yeah, we got the 500 that we made, so we had about 500 more, I guess, from grinding all that stuff. Not too bad, man. Not too bad at all. All right, let's do this. Let's check these. We only need around 50 more. We got four in each one. Gonna have to make up some foundations as well. Let's get those kind of sorted out while the rest of this metal is smelting. And we <laughs> can finally get rid of all this. Kind of get our base back, man. Take up so much room for all these. We got 39. We're gonna be shy like two or three. Watch. Nope. 
Might be good. 49. Is that perfect amount? Look at that, dude. Look at that, man! Could not have planned that better myself. So, turn that on. One of you, please. While that's crafting up, let's grab some of the meats. Totally forgot to feed the dinos. Let's take that. Let's turn that off. We're kind of good there. We're super out of polymer. We got nine left. All right, so. Dinos first, man. Gotta feed our little friends. Need to kind of set up their own little grill over here, really. Junior, are you eating all the meats? I know you're a berry eater, but you never know. So that's good there. So let's do some testing in here. Yep, yep, it is massive like it used to be. So we're looking at how many foundations wide is what I'm kind of wanting to see. Three foundations. So I'm guessing it's going to be a three by three platform like it used to be. Hmm. Kind of sucks. If it could fit in here, that'd be awesome. So what we might do temporarily. Do we have the option to pick this up too? We should. We do. Let's set the forge down. Maybe on the back side over here? And we'll just set it down right here. That could work. Let's make up some more foundations. Watch, we're going to be at a stone or something for it. It's the way that it goes, dude. It's the way that it goes. Alright, so give me a little bit of this. Small amount of that. A bunch of this. I need nine of you. Got enough for five. We're kind of light on, uh, on space. Now we will go ahead and make this thing look nice as well. Put up some railings around it. A little bit of stairs to get up and down from it. Yeah, I think right over here we be good. I mean, it's kind of near the grinder, too. We could set it up back here. Let's do it back here, kind of at an angle, and then we have the grinder right here, too. Let's start it off... I think right there will work. And we'll kind of sink it down in the ground some, kind of match the grinder if we can. Super hard to see with all the... the stuff there. Is it gonna be... Yep, enough room. I don't want to set our tree on fire, dude. That would be terrible. Just saying, dude, I want to keep it, man, I want to keep it. Gonna disappear? Kind of. Some of the grass we gotta pick, right? For fiber. I kinda like how it doesn't destroy everything. I hate it, but I like it at the same time. It's kinda nice. That way your resources are still there. However, if it's totally under it, I would like it to be gone sometimes. So, had to get some stairs for sure for this. Try to get it straight. I think that might be good there. Plenty of room back here. I want to be able to put our railings and stuff, and then we can pick it back up, right? We can. Ah, oh, fantastic, dude. All right, so. Looks the same. Updated texture. Not too bad. I think if you paint it, it'll look a lot better. Maybe we'll try that today as well. So, plenty of slots there. No fuel. Can we use... Oh, or power. Are we just outside the power range? I didn't think about that. We might have to move our generator. Hmm. So from what I heard, there is no way to upgrade the range without putting another generator down. It is literally just outside of it. Dude, please, your wings. Look at that, man. Barely outside of a dude. I wonder if... Let's move our, uh... <laughs> Let's move this over. Maybe? We'll put that right there. It's gonna be in the way. I'm curious. Let's try something. If it just touches the... Outside of the generator, does that count? That sound of this thing turning off is terrifying, I'm just saying. I put you there. We're good? I wonder if that's going to be inside the range. Wait. Yep, there we go. It's on. Are you powered? You're not powered! I want to try to move it over. Surely the whole thing doesn't need to be in the power range, right? Or power to be activated. 
How much in the power does it need to be? Like halfway? Time for some science. Need to figure it out. Okay, there we go. Halfway, I think, right? Let's pick it up. Move it over to the left a tiny bit. Yep, it's gotta be halfway. Hmm! I like where it's at. We're gonna move the... the generator. It's gotta happen, dude. It's gotta happen. I like where it's at in the base, but I like where this is at better. And this is the bigger object. Now that I had it set right where I wanted it. That'll work. Alright, let's move our generator. We could set it outside here. See if we put it in this corner where the bed is. Maybe we'll just move the bed. Have the generators here and the beds over here. Possibly. Oh, my food's gonna spoil. Keep turning the power off. Let's be honest. We don't need two sets of bunk beds. I mean, we, we, <laughs> we kind of do, but I think one set should be fine. All right, that should power everything. This will be here. Hopefully nobody falls off when they're sleeping. Rolls off the side, I'm just saying. The thing. All right, let's drop all these berries. Cut the fiber. Double check the forge. If it's good, we'll go ahead and break down all the other ones and get this kind of set up. Nice, man. Nice. That is fantastic, dude. All right, so did the old ones run off of power? I think it was gas only, right? Or was it the tech generator it would run off of? I can't remember. New sound to it, though. I like how the flame goes right up to the middle of it, too. All right, so let's get some railings. Let's get some stairs and get rid of all this junk. So we've got those. We got these. Might need to make some more. We'll have to see. Thing that sucks is that's not going to remove the grass right here. Ah, dude, I hate that, man. I hate it so bad. Wooden stairs. And then we want these to be those. I know, man, having wood right by a forge is not the smartest thing, but is what it is. We're going to need one more of these, I think. Right there. That'd be good, man. That'll have all of our industrial stuff outside. Everything accessible by the Argentavis, for the most part. Let's leave you. Make up one more railing. It's going to be some fiber, a little bit of thatch, and then a little bit of wood. Alright, so should we try painting that thing? Let's see how the paint looks on it. Might as well. Do we have the paint gun in here? We do. That, and then we should have the black on us. And the blue. I want to paint it black and blue. And then let's grab the Argentavis and empty all this stuff out. Dude's gonna get a workout today for sure, man. Junior, I need you. I like our little room. Looks nice, man. I like the, uh, so glad they added in the pillars so you can put them sideways. If we could do them, like, at an angle, like that, ah, uh, dude, would have been perfect. Would have been perfect, but never know, they could change that in the future. Sure, it's not too hard to do, right? I don't know anything about game design, but if you can do them sideways, you should be able to do them the other way, too. All right, give me a minute. Let me empty all this stuff out. It's going to be uh, quite a few trips, dude. I'm already... I'm already full on weights. All right, let's grab some water. Need to grab some more food, too. Everything is over there in the forge. Now, what we might end up doing... What's in here? Trickle. What we might end up doing is moving our vault out here. Should make life a lot easier, especially since a lot of our stuff will go from there to here. We can actually reach them both, like it is. And then we'll have some more of our room back in here kind of reclaimed. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a small area, dude. So kind of crowded. We could almost... It's like one and a half foundations. We could put the fabricator outside and move our door from there to over here. And put this inside where that is. Might do that. Possibly? Hmm. Let's see. Get this finished out over here. I want to see how well that's smelting up, too. Alright, so that's done. 
We all right? Turtles, man. Turtles are everywhere. It smelts it pretty slow, but we don't have to use any wood or anything for it. Now, we should be able to grab our wood, throw it in here, and make charcoal super fast as well. What was that? Was that the metal? Oh, it was. That was super loud, dude. So, let's see about some paints real quick. We don't want peach. We want some black. And then, let's see, what's field one? Okay, that's fine. Two is fine black as well. Three, and then I think for the other ones we want to do... This color. Holy crap, dude! Y'all right? Y'all gotta get him? He's getting pretty close, I'm just saying! They need an upgrade for sure. Four turtles not getting- oh, there's two turtles! Hey, wait, is it actually pushing them backwards? Is that new? Kinda wanna get the shotgun out and help them. They are. <laughs> it's super loud, dude. Super loud, man. Yep. Bad day for both of you. Oh, it's a 105, no wonder. This thing is a tank, dude. Yep, reload. Always reloading, man. I need to repair my armor. It looks so bad. There we go. Holy crap, that was so loud. Really need to upgrade my shotgun. Alright, so, anyways, let's do four, five, and six. Blue. It's kind of hard to see with it being that dark. I think the copper look would be a lot better. Let me buy some paints real quick, man. Copper might look good, or maybe some different blue. Oh, we can make it over here, too. Haze. Hmm. What do we have for this? Maybe do sapphire? Let's grab some berries and some cyan ones. Not many, not many. If it looks good, fine. If not, we're gonna leave it. <laughs> That's the way it is. Let's do one of each of these. I want one of them to be kind of light colored, you know? And let's throw these forges into the grinder. It's a lot faster to pick them up than to demolish them. So. Not the ocean. Try the sapphire. I'm kind of hoping that one will work out. And let's put this down on our hotbar. Make life a little bit easier. So we needed... Four, five, and six. There we go, I kind of like that. Stands out. The other one will be a little bit lighter colored, I think. Might as well try it, we have them. Takes only a second to change it. Kind of lucked out getting one of these early on from a drop. Yeah, there we go. I do like the copper look better though on that. For like the pipes and stuff. But that's fine, I man, that's fine. Gotta paint it up a little bit. Let's do one last little bit of moving around. Let's go ahead and harvest these guys too. A little bit of chitin, a little bit of hide. So what I'm thinking is... Maybe we'll just move the vault outside. That way it's easier whenever we have the burden stuff, whenever he's full with metal from smelting. All I have to do is fly him over, land him like right here. Get stuck up there with the pterodon, but then I can actually pull it from him. And put it right into the vault. Let's do that, man. Give me a minute. Let me pick all this stuff up. It's gonna... Uh, it's gonna take forever. Alright, so we're kind of set, man. That's not too bad, dude. I like it. Went ahead. Got all this sorted out. Moved everything from the smithy over. So this is actually clean now. And then... I put it... Went ahead and made uh, folders for stuff. Easy to find it. All of our saddles. All of our armor. Weapons. Building stuff. All of our tribute stuff. And then miscellaneous, kind of like that weird stuff, right? The buckets of narcotics. Oh, wait, that's a building item. And then things like that. We got a magnifying glass from a drop, too. I don't ever use them, but always nice to have. And then all of our stuff there. Still got quite a few slots. We're only using 124 of 350. Now that we have the grinder, that'll kind of 
free up some more too once I finally sort it out for what we want to keep and what we don't. And other than that, I think we've got a set. Ah, dude, well, fantastic day today. I did not expect to get the grinder and the forge. I thought I was only going to make the grinder and then have to save the forge for another video. We got the dino kind of breeding area set up too. Kind of excited to get in there and get that done. We got the feed trough is in range of everything. And then we'll have to adjust the air conditioners as we get some of the eggs, see how they hatch up. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.